Hi all, welcome to Ejimendo. In this video, we will be learning about what a compiler is and what are the differences between a compiler and an interpreter. Is this compiler a hardware or a software? What do you think? Yes, compiler is a software. That means compiler is a program which is used to translate a program written in one language to an equivalent program written in another language. That means a compiler is a program that can read a program written in one language and that is known as our source program and translate it into an equivalent program in another language and that is known as our target program. Now what is this source program and target program? Source program means it will be some high level languages. For example, uh, C, C++, Java, Python. All these are examples of high level languages. And the compiler will translate this high level language into some low level language and that is our target program. Low level languages are for example assembly language or it can be machine code. Now why do we need this translation? It's because we write the programs in high level language because uh, this high level language is much more easier to understand and it will be easier to write the programs in high level languages because this high level languages resembles our normal English language. But our computer can understand only machine languages or the machine code. So we write the programs in high level language and the compiler will translate those high level language programs into machine understandable or the computer understandable low level languages such as machine code or the assembly code. For example, let's consider just a simple statement that is uh, sum is equal to x plus y. Let's assume that this statement is a part of our source program. For example, this is a C program and this is some statement in that program. So this is our source program. Okay. But the computer cannot understand this language. What the computer understand is the machine code. So let's try to write this in machine code. That means we have two variables x and y. So first we have to load the values of x and y to the registers. So load instruction load r1 comma x. That means we are loading the value of x into the register r1. Then next we are loading the value of y to the register r2. Now we have two registers r1 and r2 holding the values of x and y. Now what we have to do? We have to do x plus y, right? So we will write another instruction add r1 comma r2. That means we are adding the values of r1 and r2 and we will be storing the result in r1. This statement you can also write it as add r1 comma r1 comma r2. That also means that we will add the values of r1 and r2 and you will store the result in r1. The same thing happens here also. You will add the values of r1 and r2 and you will store the result back to r1. Okay. So the sum of the values x and y will be now stored in the register r1. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to store that sum or store that result into the variable sum. Right. So we have to store the value of r1 into the identifier or the variable sum. Okay. So this is the machine code or the target program. So from here you can see that in order to write this single statement sum is equal to x plus y in order to write that single statement in machine code you have to use these four instructions right. So from this example itself we will be able to understand that how difficult it is to write a program a complete program in machine code and that's why we use the high level languages to write our program. So we write the programs in high level language and with the help of a translator for example the compiler. We will translate the high level language to low level language so the machine can read it or the machine can understand it. Okay. And one important feature of this compiler is that during this translation process if it find any errors it will report those errors to the users. That means it will display the error messages to the user. So the user can identify what are the errors in this program and the user can rectify those errors. So this is the block diagram of a compiler. That means a source program is given to the source program is fed to the compiler and compiler will do the translations 
and if it finds any errors that error messages will be displayed to the user so what the user will do user will correct all those errors once all the errors are corrected the compiler will produce the target program so that's a working of a compiler so this source program it will be some high level language and this target program will be a low level language and if this target program is a executable file then we can execute that target program that is what shown in the below figure that is we will take this target program and we will execute or we will run this program once we run this program or once we execute this program if the uh, program requires some input from the users it will ask for the input from us then it will process this input and give us the final output to be more clear i hope you all have written some programs in, uh, in any of the language for example c c++ java any of the languages you all will be have written at least one program right so uh, suppose we have a c program and i am using a gcc compiler to run that program okay you can use a gcc or turbo uh, whichever compiler you are having okay so i have a source program which is written in c language and i am having a gcc compiler okay so what i will do i will compile this c program and we know that uh, while compiling this c program if there are any error in the program those error messages will be displayed on our screen right so we will check what all are the errors and we will correct those errors from the program and finally if all the errors are corrected you will get the object code and that is our target program once we get the object code we will be able to run it that is we will use the command dot slash a dot out in order to run the program okay so what happens is actually we are running this object code the object code that we found just now will be executed here and if it requires some input from the users it will ask for the input for example enter two numbers then we will be entering the values of those two numbers and it will produce the output okay so that's the working of a compiler now what is an interpreter just like a compiler interpreter is also a language processor then what's the difference between the two what's the difference between compiler and an interpreter in case of a interpreter the interpreter will take the source program as well as the input from the users simultaneously if the program asks for the input it will take the input from the user simultaneously and produces the output rather than producing the object code and then executing the object code this interpreter will take the input as well as the source program together and it will produce the output so in case of a compiler it was a two step process first it will translate it into the source program into a target program and then the target program is executed uh, the user will give the input and finally the outputs are produced but here in case of interpreter the source program as well as the inputs are taken together and the output is produced so the first difference between the interpreter and the compiler is the compiler will take the whole program or the whole source program advance and it will produce the target and then we have to to execute this target program in order to get the output right but in case of a compiler it's a single step process now what's the second difference between the two second difference is that the mapping of the input to the output will be faster in case of a compiler that means the compiler will produce a target program or the object code and then this object code will be executed or we will run this object code and during this time we will give the inputs and the corresponding output will be obtained so the input to output mapping will be faster in this case that means for example in case of a c program suppose we give the values of x and y as input then in the next step we are finding x plus 10 In the next step we are finding x y plus 20 and we are storing the values in m and n okay then finally we are finding the sum is equal to m plus n and we are printing the value of sum okay so in case of a compiler as soon as we provide the input values of x and y we will get the value of sum but in case of a interpreter it will be working statement by statement so first the values of x and y will be taken from the users then it it will interpret this statement then it will interpret this statement then it will interpret this statement and finally the sum that is the output will be produced so there will be some delay in input to output mapping in case of the interpreter okay 
Now the third difference is that the error diagnosis is better in case of in case of what in case of a compiler or interpreter, which will be better. Yes, interpreter will be giving better error diagnostics. That is, the interpreter executes the source program statement by statement, so it will be easier for finding the errors. So, in case of interpreter, for example, if in case the line number is given in error message, it will be easier for us to identify where the error is, right? But in some cases, when we compile the program, the error will be shown like a segmentation fault or the core dump error will be seen. So, in such cases, it will be difficult for us to identify at what location or at what line number the error is found, okay? But in case of an interpreter, the program will get executed till that point of error. Suppose that the error was at line number 15, the interpreter will work without errors till the line number 14 and at the execution of the line number 15 the error will be shown so we will be able to identify the location of the error easily so these are the differences between a compiler and an interpreter so you have seen that what's a compiler and what are the differences of a compiler and interpreter so there are three differences first one is compiler works as two-step process that is first it produces the target program then it executes the target program, takes the input from the user and produces the output. But in case of an interpreter, the source program as well as the input will be taken at once and produces the output. Now the second difference is that the input to output mapping will be easier in case of the target program generated by the compiler rather than the input to output mapping in case of a interpreter. So compiler will be faster to produce the output. Okay. And finally, the third difference is that Better error diagnostics is obtained in case of an interpreter rather than a compiler. So that's an advantage of interpreter. Okay. So that's all for now. The next video will be going through the next topic that is analysis of a source program. Till that, bye.